What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to train a machine learning model to classify spam emails. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to go through a full machine learning process in this video. Today, we're going to train a model to classify emails as being either spam or ham, ham being the term used to describe a normal legitimate email, and spam being the term used to describe a fraudulent advertising or scam email, for example. And we're going to do all of this in Python using scikit-learn and NLTK, which is the natural language toolkit. Now for this video today, I'm going to use a Kaggle dataset called spam mails dataset. However, you can use whatever dataset you want. All you need to have is you need to have some content, some text, and a label whether the email is spam or ham, because that is what our model needs uh, to have as an information for training. So we need to have some content, we can then pre process this content, we can vectorize it, we can make it numerical, and then we need to have a label, is this spam or not so that we can train the model to recognize the patterns that make up a spam email. So you can use this data set, you can use another data set, or you can use your own emails, your spam folder or something, but then of course, you need to label uh, the data manually, we're going to use this one, just download it, uh, unpack the archive zip file, and then you will have this spam ham data set CSV file, which contains text and labels. That's basically what you need to have. So what we're going to do first now is we're going to open up the terminal and we're going to install the packages that we're going to need for this video today, we're going to use pip. So either pip or pip three install. Uh, we're going to need pandas today. We're also I think we're going to need numpy. I'm not sure about that. But let's just go ahead and install it. We're going to need NLTK and we're going to need scikit dash learn. These are the four uh, packages we're going to use in this video today. And once you have them installed, we can start by doing some imports. First of all, we're going to import string. And the reason we import string is because later on, we want to uh, filter out all the punctuation from uh, from the email text. So we're, we're going to do that with string dot punctuations. Uh, then we also want to import numpy as np pandas as pd. And then we want to import some natural language uh, toolkit stuff. So we want to import first of all, NLTK itself, because we will have to download something. We want to also import from NLTK dot corpus, we want to import stop words, because we also want to get rid of all the stop words that are part of an email. Uh, and then we also want to say from NLTK dot stem dot porter, we're going to import the porter stammer. So basically reducing uh, words down to the word stem so that uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, when we get to it. But this is an important part of the uh, of the pre processing. And then we also want to take the word stems and we want to uh, vectorize them by counting the tokens. So what we want to do is want to say from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text, we want to import the count vectorizer. So this will take the individual tokens and vectorize them by counting them so that we have a numerical representation of the email so that we can actually feed it into a model because of course, we cannot just take the text and feed it into a model, unless you want to do it with the ASCII symbols, uh, you want to do it like this. Uh, and then we're going to say from sklearn dot model selection, we want to import a train test split so that we have train data and test data so that we can actually evaluate the performance of our model. And we're going to import the model that we want to use. Now you can use whatever model you want here, I'm going to go with a random forest classifier. So I'm going to go from sklearn ensemble, import random forest classifier, but you can feel free to use a uh, decision tree classifier, naive base classifier. So Gaussian NB, you can use uh, uh, basically everything you can also build a neural network using uh, TensorFlow or PyTorch if you want to you can do whatever you want, I'm going to go with a random forest classifier. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say NLTK dot download, this is just necessary to download the stop words. Like this NLTK download stop words, this then downloads um, the stop words package. And in my case, it's already up to date. So it didn't really download anything. And now we can start with the pre processing. Now, first of all, you want to do uh, you want to load the data set. So df equals pd read CSV, read CSV like this, you want to load the spam ham data set CSV, we can take a look at it. 
And you can already see we basically are only interested in two things. We care about the text, the content of the email and the label number. So the label is just a textual representation of the number or the other way around. Uh, we don't really need this. This is probably some ID. We only need to have the text and the label number. Now you can also see that we have these line breaks here, these backslash R backslash N line breaks. Uh, what we're going to do with those is we're going to get rid of them. So we're going to do DF text is equal to DF text. And we're going to apply a simple Lambda expression to this and just say replace the backslash R backslash N by white spaces. So we have everything in the line, basically. And then you can see we have the same text, I can also say DF text, uh, I log zero to look at a specific example here. There you go. So these are uh, the text that we have here, the contents that we have here. All right, so we can also take a look at the data to see if we have any missing values. In this case, we don't have any missing values, all the different columns are uh, full with non null values, we have 5171 instances. So what we're going to do right away is we're going to start with the pre processing. And what we want to do is we want to remove all the punctuation, we want to turn everything into lowercase. And then we want to do the stemming process. So uh, we want to create a stemmer and we want to then just turn all the emails into uh, you could say into stemmed versions if that's the correct term to use here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say stemmer equals Porter stemmer, and then you can already see how this works. So I can say stemmer stem, and then I can use a word. For example, I can say running, and running is going to be converted to run. Or I can say something like sophisticated, and it will turn it into sophist. And I can also say sophisticated or sophistication, it will also be turned into the same word. So that's the idea to reduce the number of terms by reducing them down to the word stem. That's what we're doing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say a corpus is going to be an empty list. Um, and that is going to be the transformed version of the email if you want to call it that. We're also going to define a stop words set. So the the collection of stop words. And for this, we're going to say set, and then stop words dot words, and we want to use the English language here. Since our data set contains English emails. And now all we want to do is want to iterate over the length of the data set. So over the length of DF. And we're going to take the text of the email. At location I, and we're going to turn it into lower text. So we're going to uh, low, lowercase, we're going to turn it into lowercase, then we want to remove all the punctuation. And this is done using the translation, uh, or the translate function of the string. This is why we imported string up here. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh, text dot translate str make trans and what this function usually does is it provides a translation mapping. So if I say ABC, and then XYZ, every A will be turned into an X, every B will be turned into a Y, every C will be turned into a Z. In our case, we don't need this functionality. What we need is the third parameter, which is just going to remove everything that we pass here. And in our case, this is going to be string dot punctuation, like this. And then we want to split the results. So we have a list of words of individual words. For these individual words, now what we want to do is we want to reduce them to their stem, we want to do the stemming. So stemmer dot stem, the word for word in text, if the word is not part of the stop word set. So basically, we take every word that we got here after removing the punctuation, we stem it, and then we keep it if it's not part of the or actually we only stem it and keep it if it's part if it's not part of the stop words set here. And then finally, we join all of this together separated by white space again. So we're going to join all these words together to the text and we're going to append to the corpus the text. 
There you go. So now once this is done, we should see in our corpus index zero, for example, is that and if I look at DF text, I log zero, that is the original email. So this here was all converted to this year. All right, the next thing that we want to do is want to vectorize all of this. So we're going to do vectorizer is going to be equal to count vectorizer. And we're going to say that the x data that we want to use is going, going to be the email content, obviously, is going to be vectorizer fit transform, which automatically fits and transforms in one function call, we fit transform the corpus and we turn it to an array. And the y data is just going to be the label number. Now we can also right away uh, split this into x train, x test, y train, y test, which is going to be the result of a train test split for x and y with a test size of usually 20%. And then that is our data. So what we did here again is we took all the words, we removed the stop words, we removed all the punctuation, we turned everything into lowercase, we reduced it down to the word stem, and then we join it together, then we vectorize it. So now instead of having actual uh, text, we have, I can show you that uh, x zero. Now we have just a race of uh, numbers. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and create a random forest classifier, I'm going to set n jobs to negative one, because that is going to be uh, that is going to instruct it to use all the CPU cores. So it's going to be faster. And I'm then going to do CLF fit on x train and y train. This is going to take a couple of seconds, and then we can go ahead and evaluate this on the test data. So we can go ahead and say CLF score, x test, y test. And you can see we have a 97.87% accuracy, which is pretty impressive, I think. Uh, and what we can do now to actually see how this would be used because this is now okay, it performs well, but how do I actually use this now to classify an email as being spam or not? Uh, what we can do is we can get an email, we can say email to classify going to be equal to df text values. Let's go with email 10. I picked it because it has quite quite a bit of text. This is the email here. And we want to classify now is this spam or not. What we're going to do is we're going to say, um, we're going to we're going to go through the same pre processing process. So we're going to say email to classify, or actually, we want to say email text is going to be equal to email to classify lower then we want to do translate on it as well. str make trans like this string dot punctuation and split it. Then we want to do email text is equal to again stemmer dot stem word for word in text if not in if word not in stop words, set, and then email text is equal to again, probably you want to have a function for this, you don't want to do this every time. Uh, you don't want to repeat the code every time. But we're going to join now the email text. And then what we want to do is we want to define the corpus as a list of email text so that we have the same format. And then to turn this into x data, what we want to do is we want to use the vectorizer again. Now this time don't call fit transform, call transform because the fit transform would then refit the model again, we want to just call transform on the already fitted vectorizer. And we want to pass the email corpus here. And then all I have to do to predict it is I have to say predict CLF predict um, x email, and you can see I get one as a result. And I can also check what the actual true result is, it would be a DF label, or actually label number at the location 10. And it is in fact, one and one stands for let me just check again. 
one stands for spam. Yeah, so this email will spam. And you can do that, of course, for any email you want, we would have here a an almost 98% accuracy if I try this with 15. They should also hopefully return the correct label. There you go. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.